So I'm sitting here on my balcony, enjoying my coffee. Just I had to record this video because the bells were ringing so loud next to my house. And the, what prompted me to make this video was something I just saw on Twitter. Like most things on Twitter, it doesn't really bring out the most positive reaction. What I'm talking about is YouTube current, just, um, how can I put this? YouTube uh, removed the partnered, a partner, partner from their partner program. Uh, this person was called Nelk. I have never heard about the channel. No interest in the channel, Pop. Honestly, what happened is they were going around the, U the U.S. and encouraging people to go to parties, to party, because they want to reopen the gym. Because that's the most important thing, you know. So these people then went out, had parties at colleges, and they had his name plastered all over their bodies and all over the place as a source of inspiration. YouTube saw this and they reacted. They removed him from the partner program, program to cut his bottom line so that he can change his ways. Probably end up banning him if he doesn't stop. So what happens is the community reacts to this. Did they react positive? No, of course not. It's Twitter. People start complaining. Oh, what about Onision? What about Lion Maker? What about this person? What about that person? What about this, 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 this? This is an issue with the YouTube community, but not only YouTube, but Twitch also. Every time Twitch posts something on Twitter or anything, it's always, what about Alinity? Alinity, Alinity, Alinity. That's this, 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 this. We as a community have to stop doing that because we're kind of like making it very difficult for the companies to communicate with us. We need to, we need to give positive reinforcement when positive reinforcement is required and needed. In the case of Nelk, that was a very deserved move and I think he should have been handle a little bit more strongly because this is, this is millions of people's lives that are being affected through his stupid stupidity like seriously I even think YouTube went a little bit light-handed on him but I will stand behind YouTube and say good job but to go to YouTube now on Twitter and tell them you did a bad job how could you not how did you not do the same thing for other people's channels and those kinds of people's look YouTube is a large large ass platform some of these issues that was raised in the Twitter's comments was well known to them probably or not completely known to the right people it is a large company a large platform these issues will be probably taken care of it just takes a long time i honestly i don't know maybe i'm talking my, out of my ass i just i'm tired of the negativity i believe that our communities on twitter and twitch and youtube have become so toxic so damn toxic that it is it is it's sickening and I just I don't know why and I don't know maybe it's my age or maybe it's just my my you know, the way I look about life I'm so tired of it I'm so tired of it going on to Twitter and anything like just for instance like if you go to a, a Xbox post about the new console there's a bunch of toxic fanboys there you go to a Sony post a bunch of toxic fanboys there you go to anything nowadays you just find toxicness the internet has become way too toxic for itself, and I, I believe there needs to be done something done there. In truth, I'm asking quite a lot. Actually, I'm asking too much. I don't know. Am I wrong? Am I asking too much? All I can say is, ah, stop being toxic. <laughs> All right, guys and girls, I'll catch you tonight. 8:30 p.m. UK Standard Time. I'm gonna be streaming some different kind of game tonight. Not gonna to, maybe Valorant. I had fun with Valorant last night. All right. See you there. Love is bit a bit of fun. Take care.